I am so excited. Today we're going to build the email automation. This goes along with the videos that we've already recorded for you. This is a three-part series. The first video was on building your lead magnet. The second video was the your first MLM funnel using Entreport. I'll put the link to both of them in the description so you can go back and watch those first because you're going to need the lead magnet and then you're going to need the funnel that, that attracts the people. This is the way that you can um, build your email list. So those two things have already been done. So now today we're going to set up the automation so that when people click in, they give you their email. This is going to fire off for you immediately and you're not going to have to do anything. So come on, let me show you how this is done. We're getting this set up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit the bell and subscribe. You don't want to miss any additional trainings. Okay, so now we're in Entreport, and now I want you to come up to the Contacts tab and click on Automation. And now these are all the previous automations I've already built. I'm going to show you this one because this is the one is attached to my funnel checklist. Um, this is the automation that I've already got up and running. So, as you can see, when you click in it, I've got a ton of emails set up to, fo to follow up. But we all know that people very rarely click through, at least in this day and age, they very rarely see your ad or see your information about your lead magnet. They click on it, give you the email address immediately. And if they do, then that's great. They get on your email address, but then the ultimate thing you want them to do is to either buy your course or to join your team if you're in network marketing. So very rarely do you get them to, to click in and do that immediately. So you need to have an email automation set up that when someone clicks to say that they want, they give me their email address and they say they want my final checklist, then it takes them here. And then it takes them to the first email that provides them with the checklist. And then it tries to get them to, to join my $7 course. So that's my journey that I'm taking my prospects on. Yours could be simply they get your lead magnet and then you're trying to push them to join your team. So it just depends on what your goal is in this, but it all works the same. So I just wanted to show you how I have this set up and we're going to go build the same thing in Entreport today. So let me get out of this. Now you want to hit New Automation because we're going to build one. And as always, Entreport has these already created for you. So you can go through and you can pick one of these and it's already built out for you. You don't have to build it from scratch like I'm going to show you today. And that's how I got my very first one. And once I build it one time, then as I create other lead magnets, all you have to do is go in and, and check beside this automation and hit duplicate and rename it and then go in and swap out the emails and you're done. The automation is done. You only have to build this one time, then you can reuse it over and over and over again. So I'm just going to pick start from scratch so that I can show you how to do this. But again, you've got all these automations if you're using Entreport. You've got all these automations that are already set up for you. So here is the first thing. So it's asking you, okay, what's going to happen? How are they going to enter this automation? So you want to click on the add a trigger. And this is what sets it up. So this box pops up and you hit add a trigger. And then this is where you're telling Entreport what your prospect has done in order to land on this automation. So for us, it's submit a form. So you come down and find contact submits a form. And you click on that. And then you need to tell Entreport, okay, which form did it submit? And this is where you just go in your Entreport page. This is why you need to have those other funnels already built. So now you can go in and you can say, okay, this is my lead magnet funnel checklist. So you click on that and then click on the block name. Um, I didn't show you how to name that. Let's go do that right now so you're not confused. Hit done on this. Let me see. Let me name this. I'm just going to name it Demo. Because I already have this one done, but I'm going to name it Demo. Okay, now I'm going to save it. Okay, now let me back out and let me show you what that meant. The name and the block. So let me go to Pages. And I'm just going to click on Any Offer. This is not the actual 
offer that we're building the funnel for, but it doesn't matter that all the blocks are, are done the same way. Here's the funnel and where it's talking about a block. See, this is a block. So within this, you can click right here, get your settings, and then see it says block name. You can edit, and then you can, well, if I could spell, first block. And then you want to hit this check mark. I messed up. I kept hitting this check mark, and it wasn't saving for me. You want to hit this check mark, and then I hit this one to be safe, super safe. And then you want to save it and publish it just like you do all the other ones. So save and publish. And yes, use the same domain. So now when you're setting up automations, see you could have several different blocks in here and you could have a button in each one. Well, see there's another block. So see so you click on this one and see this just says block name also. So then if you come in and then you would name this one just so that they know which section they um, clicked on because they could and this one, I think I have three different places where they could actually add their email. Click in to opt in. So you want to be able to pick the right block when you're setting these automations up. And if it's got more than one, you'll need to obviously go in and collect, select on each one. Uh, and it'll tell you in here. So let me go back to contact and automation. And now let's find demo to get back into the one that we were doing. So now we have the trigger set. It's going to trigger whenever someone clicks on and gives you their email in the funnel checklist. So you've got that done and then it says, okay, what happens next? So then you click here and then you've got all these different options that you can pick up. Go to advanced, I think it is. Nope. Filters. Yeah, the go-to. So here we just want to go to this, and this is where I'm going to build all the automations under here. So you click here to say what happens next, and this is where I'm going to send an email. So you click here, and then you click in it somewhere, and then this appears. And you can pick from any previous email that you've already written, or you can write a new one. So let's not pick from a previous one. Come to the top and hit new email and then you name it lead magnet funnel checklist. Hit save and edit and now you can do a simple email, you can do an entreport mail, or you can do raw. I always just do simple mail. This is most like your normal email. See it pops up and all you've got to do is enter your subject, enter your preheader. This is what shows in the preview. You always want to put that in as well. Pro tip. You want to add this to add and it needs to be different from your actual email headline so that you can have create more curiosity to get them to actually open the email. Then you simply type your email and go back and pick one that I've already typed so you don't have to sit and watch me type. So let me pause this while I get one that we've already done. So see I came back one step and now I've selected four day fast cash email. And then instead of hitting done, let's click on it again. Oh, sorry. Click, click here and then click edit to actually see the email and edit it. I want to show you how you build the things in here. So see, you've got it all typed out and then you can, it's same as any other email. There's your bold, italicized, under, underline, all your size for the font. There's the font you can pick. All these different things that you can do. But you've got to have a way for them to actually go here and get your free gift. So you've typed that in, then you highlight it, and then you come here to add your link. And you click on it, and here's where you're going to add your checklist. So it's not, for me, it's not housed in Entreport. This email actually is because it's a totally different email. But I, house, I have it in Google. So you go to your Google Ads. I mean, not Google Ads. Hold on, let me show you that as well. <laughs> so you open your Google account. You come here, you come to your Google Drive, and this is where we saved it before in the previous um, video. So if you haven't watched that, go back and look at it. So here's a fearless um, checklist. So let's say that this is the one that we wanted to add to this. So you click in it, you hit share, and you hit, actually hit share here because you want to change it to say anyone with the link can get it. I have already changed this one, so but you want to make sure it says that. Not restricted, but anyone with the link can see it. 
once you do that, then you hit copy link and we go back to our automation email. And here, this is how it would come up to begin with URL. And then you just paste your URL right there and then hit insert link. I'm going to remove it because I don't want to save it onto this email. And then it'll be saved. And then you can come down and you can hit bold. You can hit any color that you want. Make it larger so that they can see that this is where the free gift is. And they can click there and now they've automatically got your free checklist. So then you just hit save. And now you've got your first step finished. We have the email attached. Now you just attach this to this step. So they come to this automation because of the form that was submitted and then it just sends them right back to this. Then we can go on to the next step. Now you want to give it a condition. So let's hit done because we're done with that email. And now it's again it says okay what happens next? So you're just building your roadmap. This is the journey that you're taking your prospect on. So what do you want to happen after they've gotten your, your, your checklist, your lead magnet? Well, for me, I want to push them to, to buy one of my courses or my memberships, either the $7 membership or the coaching program. So I come here and then I hit actions, nope, filters. Yeah, filters. And I hit conditions. So under conditions, it's going to go through this automatically for you. Yes is, yes, have they already joined my membership? If they have, then it takes them out of this automation because you're not going to, you don't want to continue to push somebody to buy something they've already bought. That's going to tick them off more than anything and they're going to unsubscribe and they're going to get out of whatever course you're in if, if you're doing that. And the no means, okay, no, they have not bought it. It is okay to continue down the same automation. So you want to, to be able to tell it how to do this. So if it's yes, then you hear, okay, what happens? Well, then you want them to exit end. And then under this one, you want them to continue on. You want them, if it says no, you want to send them another email to get them to purchase. And I'm not going to, I've already shown you how to set up the email, so I'm not going to waste time showing that here. It's automatically, they've given you their email address. This has automatically sent them to, sent them the lead magnet that you, that they opted in for. And then it takes them down the next step, which is, okay, have they already bought the course or not? If the answer is yes, then, you know, they're, they end the automation, they exit out. If it's not, then they continue on and they get the next email urging them to take action to buy your course or to join your network marketing team, whatever you want them to do. But you don't want to just send emails after email after email. So you want to uh, wait period. So you enter the wait and I'm just clicking on these. You need to click in it to tell it what you want it to do. It can either wait forever, wait till a specific date arrives, day after a week or I always do some time, or I mostly do this one. How much time? Usually just wait a day, and you can get specific. You can put day, you know, down to minutes and all this other stuff that you want. And then you can also hit and then wait additional time, and then you can select whether it's in their time zone or your time zone. So I'm going to take that out. I just want it to wait 24 hours, and then it takes the next action in your automation. So I hit done. And then, okay, what do I want to happen next? Well, next, I want it to send another email. And again, you would just click in and pick the email that you want or pick the new message and enter it. We're not going to do that because I've already shown you how to do that part of it. So you want to build this out as deep as you want it. But how it knows everything is you've got to have a goal set in here as well. So, and this is usually at the very bottom of your automation. So you want to set a goal in here. So let me get out of this. And now what happens next? Here's the goal. And this is what you're trying to achieve. So you need to click in it and tell Entreport what you're trying to achieve. So again, this is done by adding goals, same as we added triggers. So here we want to say when they have purchased one of my products. 
And again, yours may be submit a form or something if you just want them to join your team. So you have different ways to, to do this. It's got all types of different things that you can set as a goal. So you can figure this, you know, look in here and figure out what suits your needs best. So for mine, it's when they've purchased a product. Let me find it again. There it is. I click on it. And now I need to tell it which product. So I want to pick the ninja marketing method ninja marketing method membership so there it is now i want to set a condition in this as well so for the condition i want to say under the sales has spent a certain amount on a product and then equal to or greater than and then i just put you know one dollar and then you want to select the product again so the ninja marketing method so now I'm telling it, okay, the goal of this entire automation is for them to purchase the Ninja Marketing Method, and this tells them that they have spent more than $1 on that. And if they have, then they're going to automatically exit this automation because they've already achieved the goal. So if they have achieved this goal, if they've purchased it while they're in here, then I want to make sure that they are sent to another automation, and that is the Add to a New Automation. And that's sending them to the, you know, the Ninja Marketing Method automation. So here you can come in and pick any other automations that you've already purchased. And there's the e Enable Access to the Ninja Marketing Method campaign. So I click that. And now that's if, if the answer is yes. If they've purchased it, it's done. And then here is if they have not purchased it. So if they still have been through all of your automated emails, you know, seven or 10 or however many emails you've set up, if they've been through all of them, they still haven't purchased it. You don't just want to drop the ball then. You want to say, okay, this may not be the right option for them. So let me send them through to a different automation that's going to um, direct them to purchase my coaching program because maybe they are more advanced and they don't need the $7 membership. Maybe they won't more coaching so then i would send them to that automation and then here you just hit that you know you're ending the automation at that point and you do the same over here you end the automation so there it is easy peasy so that's your automation setup you just want to hit save and publish i'm not going to do this because this is just a demo i don't want them actually putting people in this automation and here's a little checkbox it'll tell you if you've still got some tasks to do. See, I've got all those emails to update because I didn't actually add the emails. So it's going to tell you anything that you need to do before it's going to let you publish it. So you, it, it's got a fail safe thing. And Entreport is so incredible. They have a um, contact system. You can come down here and you can contact them. You can get help. So if you're, you can do live chat. I do that all the time. And they will come on and, and text with you back and forth and they'll go in and, and look at your automation. They'll tell you what you've got right or what you've got wrong and how you need to correct it. They'll even record little videos to help you and then send it back to you and so you know exactly what to do to get the um, automations up and running. So I highly recommend if you're not using Entreport to go consider doing this. I'll put that in the link as well if you want to use this tool in your business. Thank you so much for watching this. If you haven't yet, go back and watch the other videos, building the lead magnet, building the funnel, and then this is the automation. You've got your business up and running. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and share this with others. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.